Hey guys, what's up? Uh, the Switch Lite just got announced and I just sort of wanted to sort of discuss what we saw about it and stuff like that. Um, I've already seen the video and uh, honestly I'm pretty disappointed um, and I wanted to sort of discuss why that is. So leading up to this announcement, it was sort of te like, sort of rumoured as a Switch Mini and I guess that is technically what we got. Um, but, you know, that was the sort of hype that I was building up in my, in my mind, that it was going to be a Switch Mini. Um, whereas in reality, this is a Switch Lite. So sort of like how you had the DS Lite and then, sorry, you had the Nintendo DS and then the Nintendo DS Lite. It's sort of like a mini revision. Um, but it does change some aspects of the Switch. And they're changes that I don't particularly like. Um, mainly one big change, which is that it is no longer dockable. So, let me just strain out the math for you. Um, what we're giving up is dockability, and what we're gaining is maybe 10% like footprint back, you know, like it's a little bit smaller. Um, but it's not really smaller. Um, the main problem with the Switch is that I can't just easily put it in my jean pocket. Um, like, I have to have it in my bag, and when it's in my bag, it needs to be in a protective case. Um, so you, you're left in this situation with, where it's this, like, big, unwieldy thing. Um, and this Switch Lite doesn't really fix that in any way. Um, like, it's still huge. It's a massive, like, tablet-sized device still. And it's still got these joy, uh, joysticks that, like, stick out half a meter. Um... Like, it's not really any smaller. Like, if we actually look at the design of it, the buttons and the triggers and stuff like that, they look to be the same mold as the, as the Switch, as the Joy-Cons. So if you take that to scale, this thing's still huge. Um, like, the only real change is that the Joy-Cons aren't detachable and it's a little bit shorter and the screen-to-body ratio is a bit better. And the screen's smaller as well. Um... It's not really any more portable, in my opinion. It's still going in my bag, not in my pocket. Like, um, you know, when the guy had it in his in his suit, I could see it in his jacket pocket sort of thing. Like, it's massive. And no one's carrying around a big tablet in their bloody jacket pocket. Um, like, it's going in a bag, no matter what. So, like, so it's still, like, in my mind, it's still the same size as the original Switch. Um, but we're giving up dockability, and that's a huge thing for me. Now, um, there's there's no reason why this shouldn't be dockable. Uh, it's like it's still going to be the same like Tegra chip, maybe even with a die string. So it's going to be like a more efficient same Tegra chip that's still capable of throwing out a signal through that H, like through the USB C port. Um, like, first of all, the Switch should be capable of doing that without a dock. Like, there should be just, there should just be, like, a cable that has a charger and a HDMI. That should be all you need. That's all any other tablet that uses USB Type-C needs. Um, and, yeah, there's no, there's just no reason why it shouldn't be dockable. Like, I'll take a hit on quality. Like, let's pretend, like, number one, it's the same thickness, right? So... I imagine you have the same heatsink set up, the same fan set up pretty much. Um, just because it's got the same form factor almost. Like, it's the same thickness, same sort of area. Um, so, but let's, let's pretend they've actually cut down the cooling a little bit. Um, it's still capable of outputting to a TV. Like, I'll eat the quality resolution loss for having that ability, that, that option to play on the TV. Like, I should be able to plug it in, like, sync up a Pro Controller and just play that way. It doesn't need to have the Joy-Cons detachable. Uh, it doesn't need any of that. It just needs to have the option to be there to plug into a TV, just in case that suits my lifestyle. And in the first place, it should be smaller. It should be a thing where I can just... It's reading a disc. It should be a thing where I can just easily, you know, dock into a TV when I'm at home and then when I want to go out, it should be small enough that it fits in my pocket. Like, it it, it, like it really doesn't make any sense. Like, you're giving up such a fundamental thing about the console. And, like, fair enough, people don't use that feature as much. I 
I do like having that feature. I use it quite a bit, but I definitely play in bed as well. You know, like I do both. Um, and it really hurts me to have that feature taken away. And like in my mind, we're not gaining anything by having it taken away. Um, now sure, this is going to be like a, a tighter switch, a eh? like more of refined design, especially because the Joy-Con controllers don't come off. Like mine in particular, if you touch the bottom of it, it just pops off. Yeah, it's going to be nicer that it's all in the one form factor and all in the one body. Uh, that's going to be nicer to play on and stuff like that. And it being a little bit smaller, make it a little bit more wieldy to hold. Um, but these benefits don't... Like, it, just, it just needs to be more Vita-sized rather than Switch-sized. Um, and yeah, docker building not being there really hurts it. That's... It defeats the whole point for me. I'm not going to buy this. Like, if I wanted a Switch-sized game console, I'd just get a Switch. Like, it's still the same size, in my opinion. I mean, I guess it's the same story with the um, the uh, DS Lite and the Nintendo DS. Like, the DS Lite's only a little bit smaller, but it didn't take away any functionality, really. And if anything, it improved everything all around, whereas... You know, we're going to be giving up things on this, and it's not really any smaller, in my opinion. Like, the footprint's a little bit less, like, all around the edges, but it's still going into a bag. It's still going into a carrying case. In my mind, that's still the same footprint. And until... And until it's fitting in my pocket, there's no reason for it to not have HDMI out. In fact, when it's in my pocket, there's no reason for it to have HDMI out. My phone has HDMI out. Uh, a Raspberry Pi has HDMI out. Uh, that just doesn't make any sense to me that it doesn't have that. And I think it's a fundamental thing that should be in there in the first place. Um, look, it's really late. Oh, I still got to get to bed, but yeah, I'm very disappointed in this. This is not... A direction that I like and uh, yeah buy a used switch just buy this buy that because it's it's not any better it's not any worse it's just just buy a switch at this point because it's not you're not losing anything not waiting to upgrade to this model <sighs> if that guy's thanks for watching I know I'm in a, I'm in a shitty mood um, but I just wanted to get my thoughts out there, because, yeah, this is just not any good for me. I just... Ugh. Uh, whatever.